When I was 19, I dated a guy who was 34. He told me he was 28. But I don't want to normalize reviewing my videos. But the reason why we're going to go back to this, because in the comment section of this, a lot of people were upset at me because I said that if you are a 34-year-old man dating a 19-year-old girl, you're a predator. He was 34. But I think about the fact that one time he took me to play to show me off, whatever. I was pretty cute back then. To his friend's house. And his friend had a 12-year-old daughter. When he got over there, the 12-year-old daughter I saw was reading the newest Harry Potter book. And I was really into Harry Potter back then. And the books were being released in real time. That's how old I am. I was like, oh my God, you know, how far have you gotten? He and this girl started talking about Harry Potter for like an hour. And then that man continued to date me for a few more months. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like you, you took me over to spend time with your peers. Another 35 year old man. And me, a 19 year old girl, went over and related more to the 12 year old because we both liked the same reading material. I'm not saying that he is a criminal. I'm not calling him any names or saying he needs to go to jail. I have more in common mentally with a 12 year old than I did you and your dumb friend. I didn't even what did we have in common? I didn't even realize she said that part. Honestly, mentally, what do you have in common with a 19 year old and you're 34? At 34, you're a middle aged man. You have so much life experience that you can pull from. A 19 year old fresh out their parents' crib, damn near fresh out of high school? What? Why is it every time? What? Ugh, every time I'm about to cook. Hello? Hello? What's up, wife? I was just about to cook. What's you about to cook? No, I was doing a video. Where you at? You close? Yeah, I just pulled up to the house. Oh, all right. Well, let me let me finish this joint. Okay. I'm a firm believer in just because you can do it does not mean you should do it. Now, legally, yes, you can date a 19-year-old as a 34-year-old man. But again, just because you can do it, I don't think morally you should do it. Think about where you were at at 19. Think about what you were thinking about at 19. You pretty much just start in life as an adult. You have no experience in anything. You might think you know it all, but you really don't. You haven't come to terms with nothing you went through when you were younger. Because at 30, I feel as though that's when I started really understanding my childhood trauma. They just not going to let me cook today. You want to say hi? Hi. There you go. Um. Okay, I'm going to help you with your homework. I like this though. Brown, black. They live in caves. Okay, we're gonna have to work on this one and then we're gonna have to work on this, okay? Okay. All right. Good job, bro. Good job. Proud of you. You can go upstairs, big guy. You got enough camera time. Like I was saying, mentally, a 19 year old is not on your level. And to be honest with you, a 19 year old is not mature enough to date you. So in any case, you'd be taking advantage of them mentally. You know what? How about this? Because I went ahead and um, I looked it up on Reddit. You know what I'm saying? I wanted evidence to, to support the things that I was saying. And <clears throat> here's this. Here's something that, that a, a young lady who is now 30 posted. When I was 19, I dated a 30-year-old. Not quite as big as an age gap, but still pretty significant. At the time, I thought I was cool. And mature, looking back several years later, it was really messed up. I was at a completely different point in my life than he was. He used my immaturity, and that is definitely not how you spell that. But he used my immaturity to pressure me into doing things I was not prepared for, emotionally and physically. He condescended me a lot and acted like I was stupid for liking typical 19-year-old girl's things. So my thing, you may not make it on the sex offender list for dating a 19-year-old at 34, but you're definitely going to prey on the fact that she's not as mature as you. A lot of older guys that date teenagers, let me specify, because a 19-year-old is a teenager. A lot of older men that date teenagers are doing it because they can take advantage of them mentally. 19 to 34 is a 15-year gap. If you're 30 and you're dating a 45-year-old, I have no problem with that, because it was people in the comment section saying that too. So you're trying to tell me if I'm I'm 55 and I'm dating a 25 year old that's creepy too but you know what you're not gonna make it on the sex offender list a 19 year old is a teenager how do we not see a moral problem there right you guys are the same people 
who say, if I'm married and my wife didn't add anything to my wealth, she wasn't with me shooting in the gym, it's not right that she can get half of my assets. Legally, she can. Legally, the court grant her half of your assets. But morally, she shouldn't because she didn't add to that. To me, it's the same thing. Legally, yes, you can date a 19 year old, but morally, you shouldn't. You morally should not be dating a teenager as a 34 year old man. So yes, I say that you're a creep. Now, to be quite honest with you, to be quite honest with you, I had a friend who, he was 29, and the young lady he was dating was 19. I remember the day we had a conversation about this because we were at the trash compactor, we were throwing away trash, and he was looking off. It's like he was here, but he wasn't here. So I'm like, what's going on? You want to talk about it? He was hesitant, but then he decided to tell me what was going on. He's like, hey, I got this new girl I'm talking to, and it's getting kind of serious. I'm like, okay, but the thing is, she's pretty young. I'm like, how young is she? She's 19. Now, <laughs> hold on, let me backtrack. He told me she was 20, but come to find out she was 19. I'm gonna tell you when I found out, how I found out that he kind of lied about the situation. He told me this, and I'm like, yo, you know, it's not illegal for you to be dating a 19 year old, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I wouldn't particularly do it, but if, you know, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. But there's going to come a point in time where this relationship is going to go sour. The reason this relationship is going to go sour is because what you're ready for right now, she's nowhere near close to being ready for that. You about to be 30. You ready to settle down. You might be ready to get married. She's just starting her life. Now, if y'all stay together for a minute, if y'all stay together from now till she's about 29, 30, she's going to blame you because she's going to feel as though she missed out on life. Now, that's this is not the case for everybody, but this is the case for a lot of people. The crazy thing thing is we work with a lot of women it's a lot of hispanic women that we work with who been in relationships since they were teenagers with older men and you know what they all in there doing they all in there cheating they all were in there cheating because they felt as though they missed out on life i'm talking to him i'm like bro you know you, we have examples of this going around here it's either you're gonna hurt her mentally because you're gonna be forcing her to do some things that she's not mature enough to do or you're going to get hurt in the long run because she's going to do some young girl shit that you're not ready for. Fast forward a couple years. Now, I want to say this, too. This is how I found out that she was actually 19. We had a little company party, and she came to the party, and we decided to go out to, like, a bar or something afterwards. We tried to go to the bar, and she couldn't get in because she was too young. Everybody else was able to get in, but he had to stay with her because she couldn't get in. Found out her age. Fast forward. They end up moving in together. They sign up to the gym together. The guy that signed them up at the gym, he was closer to her age. So my man's, my coworker or whatever, he finds out that she's cheating. The way he found out she was cheating, she says she's going to the gym, she's going to take an Uber. She leaves, she's like, oh, the Uber's here. He looks outside, he sees no Uber in front of the house. So he walks out the, the apartment complex, and he's seen her cutting across. And he's like, yo, why don't... And his mind is, why would she be cutting across when she could just get the Uber right in front of the house? He follows her some more. He sees her jump in a sports car. Now he's furious. He runs back to the house, get in his car, follow the sports car. The sports car pulls up to the gym. It's raining outside, too. Sports car pulls up to the gym. He walks up to the car, catches his girlfriend having sex in the back of the car with the dude that showed them around the gym. Now, I'm not saying that a grown woman can't get caught having sex in the car. I'm not saying that at all. You feel me? I'm not saying that at all. This just goes back to my point when I told him that this relationship would end very sour legally. You can date a 19-year-old. Legally, you can have sex with a 19-year-old. But morally, as a 34-year-old man, you should not. On the charts, you guys' maturity level is going to be too far apart. The things that wake you up in the morning and, and pushes you to, to move forward as a 34-year-old, your 19-year-old girlfriend is not going to be able to understand that. Now, I know somebody's going to argue that, well, you know... I can help her to mature and do this, that, and she needs to mature on her own. She needs to experience life on her own terms, not on your terms. At some point in time, she's going to feel as though you holding her captive. You might think you're protecting her because you have seen it before. You have done it before, seen it before. In your mind, I'm protecting her, but no, bro. She's going to feel like a prisoner. So again, just because you can does not mean you should.
Y'all can come at me in the comment section, but I'm doubling down on that shit. Morally, at 34, you should not be dating a 19-year-old.